Hello, this talk is Eshref Armahan and the abilities of touch, drawings of cubes and Brunelleschi's baptistry without visual input. My name is John Kennedy. I'm from the University of Toronto. This talk is given at Invisible Heritage, a conference at the University of Lublin, December the 19th, 2021. For this opportunity to talk at Invisible Heritage, I am particularly thankful to Bob Marek. I should also thank Eshref Armahan for permission to show his drawings. Also, I'd like to thank Discovery Channel for funding travel for Eshref and myself to Italy. In theory, haptics includes 3D and directions from a vantage point and change in direction with distance as an object recedes, and change in direction at a point in three ways, yaw, which is left and right, pitch, which is up and down, and roll, which is clockwise or counterclockwise. Haptics, in theory, also includes depiction in outline, for example. Haptics allows practice in drawing, and in theory, people who are sighted and people who are visually handicapped develop similarly. After extensive practice, in theory, tactile pictures are drawn in perspective. Of course, teaching can accelerate development. A word about Eshref. Eshref was born in Ankara. He is now celebrated in Turkey and around the world. He was born without eyes, and he has been interested in making pictures since childhood. He recalls, for example, drawing pictures as a boy with a nail on cardboard, so his marks were tangible. He was encouraged by his family. He himself is lively and outgoing. He has asked for advice on making pictures for many people and has asked for comments on his pictures. He's made a living selling pictures. He makes many. He also benefits extensively from advice and assistance on contacts from Joan Aronsell. Prior to 2007, Eshref was asked by me to draw a cube from several vantage points. I wanted to know how skillful he was. Joan Aronsell had told me he was remarkable. I asked him to draw a cube directly in front of the vantage point. I asked him to draw the cube as if it had moved to the side, so a side face is showing as well as the front, and as if the cube had moved to the side and down, so a front face, a top face, and a side face would be showing. And the cube as if balanced on a point with one vertex and three faces in front of the vantage point. And here is the result. Eshref drew cubes from several vantage points. In the bottom right, there is a single quadrilateral, that is the cube from the front, showing a front face. In the top left, there is a front face as a quadrilateral and a side face as a quadrilateral with receding or converging sides. On the bottom left, there is a front face, a top face, and a side face, with the top and the side shown by oblique lines. And in the top right, there is a set of faces, quadrilaterals, around a central Y, showing a top face, a left side, and a right side. Eshref's outline drawings show the cubes from several vantage points. In an outline drawing, in which lines stand for the edges of surfaces, he drew a rectangle for the cube in front of the vantage point. He drew a rectangle and added converging lines of a quadrilateral for a cube moved to the side. He drew a rectangle and three obliques for a cube moved to the side and down. He drew a Y-junction for the cubic corners in front of the vantage point. He drew three quadrilaterals for a cube balanced on a point. Each quadrilateral 
contains two obtuse angles and two acute angles. This is projectively correct. Meeting Eshref. I first met Eshref in New York at Art Education for the Blind, care of Elizabeth Axoff. We have continued to meet every few years. In New York, I asked him to draw many things. Often these were new tasks for Eshref, and many would challenge skilled, sighted exponents of drawing. For example, he succeeded in drawing three cubes on a table, one in front of the vantage point, showing a front face and a top face, one to the left, but further in depth, showing a front face, a top face, and a side face, and one e even further to the left and further in depth, also showing a front face, a top face, and a side face. He succeeded where many sighted people would have trouble. Eshref and the Baptistry. In 2007, Discovery Channel asked, what might demonstrate Eshref's ability with 3D? And I thought of the Baptistry. I suggested to Discovery Channel that we could ask Eshref to draw the Baptistry in Florence. This is where perspective was discovered in about 1413. A photo shows its front and flanking sides. Contours for the left and right flanks converge in the photo. They show perspective. Eshref came to Florence. He felt a corner of the baptistry and parts of two faces of the building. And he was given a model of the building. The photo shows me handing Eshref the model. He was sitting at a small table in front of the baptistry. And I asked him to please draw this building, Eshref. And I think an important thing that I said to him was, Eshref, please show that the roof is high above you. Eshref first drew a tall rectangle. Then he drew flanking sides, converging. He first drew two flanks. Then each side was drawn again slimmer, as if Eshref explores the use of perspective here. Later, a more finished drawing has two-point perspective again, sides converging left and right. Contours for each side converge. Details are added to complete the building, as in the model. Eshref's skill with drawing supports the idea that he understands 3D spatial layout and vantage points on the layout. He understands 2D contours should converge in a picture to depict parallels receding in 3D depth. Those contours converge because the angles between the directions to the tops and bottoms of objects shrink as the objects recede. So in theory, haptics accesses 3D space and directions from vantage points. Eshref accesses the same spatial information as the sighted and other people who are blind. For Eshref, 2D pictures show directions to 3D objects, and shrinking angles in 3D are shown by converging lines in 2D. Eshref is a forerunner. He shows what is possible. Others can follow. I imagine many others will follow in Eshref's footsteps. He has shown us what is possible. Remarkably, he is the first, I think, of many.